coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Starlink Aviation launches service. Honeywell forecast shows strong growth in business aviation. Parker Meggett unveils long-range wireless tire pressure gauge. This week's coverage of NBAA Base is powered by GoGo 5G, allowing business aviation to communicate faster than ever. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Starlink Aviation launches service. SpaceX has launched the aeronautical version of its Starlink internet service, offering high-speed, low-latency internet for aircraft at a low, low price of $12,500 to $25,000 per month. While the service may seem somewhat exorbitant to the average person's internet service, the world of business aviation is a different ecosystem entirely, and Starlink Aviation's pricing is not too far from the average in the sector. The service itself is highly competitive, entering the market with a top speed of 350 megabits per second among an industry still lagging behind with regular broadband speeds from 20 to 100 megabits per second. Latency is said to be as low as 20 milliseconds while in flight, and all plans through Starlink will include unlimited data by default. Installation will require customers to pay a one-time hardware cost of $150,000 for the necessary equipment. Once complete, Starlink will enable an aerial internet experience hardly removed from a terrestrial one. In-flight video calls, VPNs, streaming, even gaming is on the table for passengers around the world. Plans include unlimited data and hardware is under warranty for the length of the subscription, with no long-term contract required. And after the break, fly exclusive ads to Citation Fleet at NBAA Base. I'm Brad Kislowski, and some people know me as the NASCAR driver, where I've competed for 13 years at the Cup Series level. There is no typical day in my world. Not knowing what my day is going to be, I have to have as much flexibility as possible. I've been a GoGo customer for over five years. And so I've seen the technology just continue to improve. It's an enabler that uh, helps me make the most of a crazy world that I'm in. Overall, I'm extremely happy with the GoGo system I have on my airplane. The future of USB charging power has arrived. Introducing new ultra-fast charging TA360 USB chargers. Unlock the power of USB power delivery PD technology. Max power. Multiple configurations. In-seat cabin cockpit and galley USB power and a direct upgrade for all True Blue Power USB chargers, compatible with any USB electronic device. Easy to install, backed by the best. True Blue Power, the USB experts. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Fly exclusive adds to Citation Fleet at NBAA Base. Textron has been moving metal at NBAA Base, announcing a sale to Fly Exclusive for up to 14 additional Cessna Citation biz jets. The deal includes eight Citation XLS Gen 2 aircraft for delivery in 2024 and up to half a dozen Citation longitudes. Those aircraft are expected to begin delivery in 2025. That's not all, as Fly Exclusive has exercised its option to buy another five Citation CJ3 Plus aircraft from a previous order that allowed up to 30 of the type earlier this year. Those deliveries should start in 24. Gulfstream announces Savannah facility expansion for next-gen aircraft. Gulfstream Aerospace has announced an impending expansion of its Savannah, Georgia aircraft and wing manufacturing facility to meet expected customer demand of the next-gen Gulfstream G400. The 262,000 square foot expansion will add dedicated space for G400 production and wing lines with additional room devoted to material delivery and distribution areas. 
The expansion also augments ongoing growth at Gulfstream's wing production facility adjacent to the G400, G500, and G600 manufacturing building. The headquarters currently houses production of the Mark's flagship G700, new G800, and the G650ER. We're going to announce today uh, and during the week that we're going to expand our manufacturing for the 400, 500, and 600. So as we envision this new fleet of airplanes uh, in 2014, we also envisioned how we would manufacture these airplanes most efficiently, and that is to build the 400, 500, and 600 in the same facility on three different lines. Uh, so that is part of our long-term vision uh, and we'll start uh, expanding uh, very, very soon. Drone company to attempt 3,500 kilometer plus remote control flight. Latvian telecom company LMT has joined hands with European drone framework Comp4 drones to push the limits and validate the feasibility of long distance UAS control. The test will see LMT attempt to pilot a drone in Latvia from a Spanish terminal 3,500 kilometers away. The demo will be slightly different from the usual BV loss affair by virtue of its reliance upon a mobile network as its primary communication channel. Cross-country control and piloting will be transmitted by the mobile network along the way. Airbus Corporate Jets takes a look into business reception of SAF. Airbus Corporate Jets has released some of the findings of a study commissioned into the uptake of sustainable aviation fuel among U.S. businesses with an annual revenue greater than $500 million. Overall, 58% of executives believe the use of SAF in the private aviation sector will, quote, increase significantly over the next five years, end quote, with an additional 32% saying they expect an increase in its use. Airbus found that attitudes regarding SAF do hinge on pricing. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Honeywell forecast shows strong growth in business aviation. Honeywell's 31st annual Global Business Aviation Outlook delivered promising news showing strong demand for business jets through 2032. The outlook showed $274 billion worth of aircraft over 8,400 deliveries. From 2023 to 2032, that represents a 15% improvement in expenditures over the same forecasted period made 10 years prior. New BizJet deliveries in 2023 are expected to be 17% higher than 2022, with expenditures 20%. Fleet additions are up for the second year in a row, doubling 2021 rates at 2% of the current fleet. Only 2% of surveyed operators plan to dispose of an aircraft without replacement, half the rate of 21. The upward trend continues, with a third of those surveyed conveying a belief that they expect to fly more in 2023 than they did in 22, with 64% expecting a parity in their travel levels between the years. Large, long-range aircraft classes are also on the rise, expected to account for more than 70% of all expenditures of new business jets over the next five years. Used aircraft will remain a hot commodity, with five-year purchase plans for used jets run around 28% of the current fleet. Honeywell expects this demand to keep upward pressure on the already low inventory of jets available for sale. And after these messages, Parker Meggett unveils long-range wireless tire pressure gauge. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth-enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Parker Meggett unveils long-range wireless tire pressure gauge. 
During NBAA, Parker Meggett briefed ANN on iPress, a long-range wireless tire pressure monitor for general aviation aircraft using their new WTPS. For every weary pilot who had to maneuver in and around the crud to get to a position to check tire pressure, this is Mana from Heaven. So we came out with the idea of we are all having some smartphone like this and uh, uh, it would be really easy to check the tire pressure using this tool to uh, improve the safety and the comfort of the pilots and operators. What does it take to install this system on the typical aircraft? You have to change the stem on the wheels with a specific stem which allows to install this sensor on it. When it is installed, you configure it through the app using your iPad or your smartphone in order to let know the sensor on which tail number it is mounted and on which wheel it is mounted on the aircraft. And as soon as it knows, then you can connect to it and get the, your tire pressure in a second. The system is us using Bluetooth. So you can, you can connect up to 50 meters in a clear space, let's say, but you are usually not at 50 meters from your aircraft when you want to, do, to check the, the tire pressure. So all around the aircraft, it works without going close by the, the wheels. And what aircraft are you targeting with this system right now? So the launch customer is Textron Aviation, and so we are tar targeting uh, some King Airs and Citation aircraft. We hope in the, in the next uh, years we will be able to, to address many aircraft types from different uh, uh, aircraft manufacturers. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.